everyone and welcome to Crafters TV. I'm Debbie Fisher and you've got me for the next couple of hours. Um, it's beautiful beginnings. You know it's our amazing show that sort of starts us off in the evening. It's nice and gentle. The music gets us all relaxed. And then wham, bam, we get the most amazing woman come in and she shows us some incredible demonstrations. Now, I've heard that all day today you've been absolutely loving the new tree stamps. Uh, they're so beautiful, so much you can do with them um, but I know it's all because of the lady herself that does the demonstrations for us um, and does an amazing job at just teaching really all those skills that she has in her armory um, so I am delighted to introduce you to the wonderful Sheena this evening. Uh, oh. Evening Sheena. Ah oh, yeah Debbie I'm, I'm really looking forward to this because uh, we, we were looking forward to it we were talking about it last night. Yes yeah. So, absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Yeah. It's going to be amazing yeah. yes so uh, really good. So where did your inspiration for these stamps but the come trees, from? Well, I tell you what, it was this tree here, that, that tall tree, um, that started the ball rolling. I was in a field in, um, it, that's the very one, that tree there, that very one, that's the, that's the it, very it's tree. Fault, that fault and it knows it. So I'm sitting there, um, it was actually, it wasn't just randomly found a field and sat in it. I was, we had the van, by the camera right, van. Yep. And it was just last summer and we were, it was a gorgeous day and there was this really pretty tree there. So I sat in my chair with my sketchbook and my pen and I drew that tree. Wow. And I, I just thought it was just such a nice shape yep. and it was nice texture and everything. And I posted it and a lot of you were saying, oh, come and have it as a stamp. And it's taken a while, but yes, you've got it as a stamp now. Oh, so I thought amazing. it would be nice to bring another two trees that were very different shaped. Yep. You know, the willow was very different and quite silhouette, so you can yes. do different things with it. And then that big oak tree, again, that was um, that was the one that we saw. I didn't sit and draw that one out. I drew that one from a photo we took, but it was lovely. But just, again, a fabulous day. Looking down over the hills, as far as you could see. Um, yep. And it was, um, and these, these sheep just grazing underneath it. It was like, oh, if I was uh, a sheep, I'd want to be in that field. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. I love that you get your inspiration from nature and everything around you, and it just inspires you, which is amazing. It is, you know, and that's why I'm happy. I love, I'm definitely more of a country girl than a city slicker. Yeah. I like to go in the city, then yep, again, but me too. I'm happier. My spirit's happy when I'm yes. in the countryside. Absolutely. Yeah. So let us know where your spirit is happy. Is it in the countryside? Is it in the city? We would love to know. Plenty of you in with us this evening. Uh, say a few hellos. Um, Linda is in today. Susie's on social. Good evening, Susie. Uh, Vanessa's in. Uh, Suzanne's in. Beth, Mary Beth. Uh, Carletta's in saying um, hello again, everyone, from Arkansas. Uh, we've also got uh, Sarah Neville is in. Carol's in. And Maureen. Uh, Roseanne uh, is saying uh, hello from Massachusetts um, and we've also got uh, Barbara giving a wave as well from Indiana so welcome everyone this evening uh, right a few things that are going on on our web uh, we've got Sheena's top picks I love this and they're cool I, I know, know. I very section. cool I know my top picks and they are absolutely things that I just think oh so happy there in my life. The things yep. I need in my life to do what I do. Yep, those are the things. Amazing. So uh, yes, if you want to know what Sheena's top picks are, uh, head across on there. Uh, now it is unfortunately your last day to get up to thirty percent off on Spectrum Noir. Uh, so make sure you shop that as well. But just go across to the website. You'll find lots of different categories there uh, that you can click on. Uh, we've also got a ten pound on a forty pound spend, which is incredible. Um, you can use the code Treat. 10 so nice and easy treat 10 and uh, you'll get that extra off as well so make sure you head over to the website and find all those things out right tonight uh, let's start off with those trees you've been absolutely loving them today if you haven't seen them in the last two shows um, I heard little birdie told me from the tree itself actually um, that uh, you can uh, go back and watch Sheena's demonstrations from earlier because apparently they were amazing uh, so I can't wait to see Sheena in action tonight right you can see right beside me we've got those tree stamps those three trees that we've put a card sample up for you uh, to see exactly what they are you will get them in their um are they photopolymer stamps they are photopolymer they are. Are. Of how cool is they that are. so all of my stamps going forward if they've got my name on them they're going to be photopolymer which Amazing. is like can i ask for more no because there isn't any better it's just the top of the the creme de la creme on what you want the stamps yep. to be made of. Shall we explain why? Because you know, beautiful beginning. Love that. Absolutely. I, Let's a show it. Yes. It's like someone says to me, "Oh, they're photopolymer." I go, "Oh, good for you." What's that mean? 
So what it means is that um, yeah, they're clear for a start. They look like other clear stamps, like acrylics, also clear. But photopolymer is much more robust. It's a different um, a substance entirely. It's usually get a deeper etch with them. So you can get deeper um, definition and also finer definition and they don't squidge like sometimes you know like acrylic stamps if you yep. press too hard mm -hmm. you can get like a double kind of yes. image because yep. it's like tires that are under inflated yeah well this photopolymer doesn't amazing and it's sticky as well i always go by the sniff test the sniff test is that they what you smell oh i've never even noticed have that have you never noticed no. yeah photopolymer stamp smell. smell yeah um not not a horrible smell but they've got a smell they've got quite a strong smell but not a horrible smell but there is no smell to acrylic where there is to photopolymer so that's yeah, like a bloodhound test yeah. so yeah yeah like the crafting bloodhound I'll, I'll name that i'll name that product one sniff <laughs> yeah you can definitely definitely uh, let me know but you're getting all those three stamps in there you're also getting the ink pad as well which is uh is the ink pad for watercolors as well i believe yes uh, and you're also so getting the watercolour cardstock with those as well. Um, so absolutely amazing deal today. Now you can get all of those for a platinum price of £24 or $32. Uh, what a fabulous price to have those for. Uh, and Sheena, in fact, Sheena, I'm going to show some of these samples that yes, I've got here. Stunning, um, aren't they? Your samples, always, well, your design team always yeah. wow me. Um, now I'm going to show these ones, which are all the same one, but in so many different variations yeah let me show cool. one more look at this so each one of those and there are more looking so different yeah you know what the thing is guys here's the thing the draw the line is in there in the background so these are this is bringing together the techniques that we've been sharing mm -hmm on the Wednesday with the products that we've been um, using previously so this is how you see it all come together now and and again so different and if you want to see these join the inquets and it's not me just recruiting for the inquets because we've got over 8,000 people in there now so it's a close group to ask to join but the reason i'm saying that is if you want to see these again and you want to ask the team how they did it because yep. i'm just guessing i see the cards and i think oh i've got to try and work this out as we did the last show the last two hours julie's i was like totally like oh, i was like detective um like sherlock holmes of the the crafting world there trying to work out how she did it Join that, join the inquests and they'll tell you. So they get it straight from the you know, from them. <gasps> Look at them as well, I know. Debbie. Look how I cool mean, they they're look. just fabulous. I absolutely love them. So if you love nature, make sure you grab these three uh, stamps today in that sex piece. Uh, sex pits. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy for you to see, Debbie. Six piece showstopper hey. collection. <laughs> Yay. I'm so bad, I'm so sorry. <laughs> six piece, it is a six piece collection, I assure you. Uh, Sheena, what are you yes. going to show us first? Well, I thought we'd start with that tree, that, that one that started the whole thing, um, the, the very tree itself. And I love this card that Sharon's created. Now, um, she's already pre-stamped it, but what if I would stamp in it again, I would use the um the want the ink pad that comes in the bundle which is the brown ink the, the water resistant the waterproof brown ink but as she's already got these three here already for me i thought it'd be a nice quick dem just to start with just to show you the coloring and how we can affect that so she's got a summer tree here and two autumn trees love that so i thought why don't we do an autumn tree a summer a spring tree so that's maybe the greenery but then we'll do like a summer tree where maybe we make it look cherry blossomy, Ooh, pinky. Very why not? Nice. It, why not? It's a tree. We can mix it up. It's your it's your tree to do with what you want. And I thought the product we would use would be um, it makes sense. I want to get a bit of sparkle into it, so sparkle pens for sure. But also the aquas, Debbie, because the aqua pens, as you know, I've said it before and I'll yep. say it again. They're my favourite colouring products of all. Yes. Because they just do so much, don't they? Yeah. You know, why would you not? And they're so affordable, especially at the minute, at thirty percent off. Yeah, amazing. Honestly, guys, get, if you like the draw the line technique, believe me, with that premium watercolour card that's um, on the website, and these pens, it's you know that there's no very you know it works. They're two things because if the card's wrong, it's not going to work for you. Yep. If the if the inks if the pens are wrong, it's not going to work for you. I've got very expensive pigment watercolor pens that don't do what these do on right. the draw the line. Okay. So just saying. So that's the essential set. I'm just going to go through them quickly with you with the uh, colors, the primaries. If you can go for just two, I would say go for essentials and primaries. 
Then we've got the nature, which is this one here. And these are my colour charts. They're not all pretty and formatted and, and look, you know, ready for like a, um, a board or anything because they're my working colour charts. I, yep. If I don't have these, I'm stuck because the colours of the pens, look at those. I mean, they're just gorgeous, those floral ones. The, if you look at the plastic, when you think um, that's a reference colour there, they're just reference colours, sort of just to let you know sort of the colour you're getting. They're not the exact colours because it's plastic dyed to represent the ink and the ink itself is so vibrant and juicy and, and translucent that you can't really get that in plastic. Um, they're so much nicer when you do that and see yeah. them like that, Debbie. So um, we'll pop them there. That's just one of the sets there. Let me, let me show you what the pens look like. Now, I should mention that, um, you know, as it's beautiful beginnings, you know, you think, we've, well, we've got to keep, we keep taking it back to the basics to talk about the pens, but I think it's valid, isn't it? You know, every time we may have somebody new tuning in, Debbie. Oh, so absolutely. I think we need to go through what the pens are and, how they, and why they look the way they are. And, and also, Sheena, just because I'm hearing you say about the line technique, for exactly. anyone that doesn't know, what is that? Oh, have you seen that yet? No. So, right. so I was hoping she wouldn't oh. ask me that. I don't know what the line Come technique is. Come on then, is. right. <laughs> so draw the line. Oh, I tell you what, the only downside of the draw the line technique is the Harry Belafonte song. Jump in the line, rock your body and tie. <laughs> OK, I believe you, that one. I'm waking up singing it. I'm going to sleep singing it. I've got to get out of my head. And I'm singing it again. So let me show you the most basic draw the line technique, right? So this and is sorry, we will go back to the yes, um, what about the pens, but I just didn't this. know what that is. Yes, you might not have seen then. it, right? So even if you just take, the, the, let's do an autumnal one, all right? I'm going to use the essentials. We're going to use the black and we'll use terracotta, yeah? And, um, and we'll use a touch of blue from this set. Right, so here's what you do, Debbie. You get your flat airbrush ready. So you, you're half in, your three quarter inch flat brush is essential. The paper you need to get the best results is the premium watercolor. Right. So have a look, there's usually a deal on, isn't that, on the website. Yes. So you're gonna have that brush ready and wet. You're or gonna have the your... showstopper with your uh, stamps. Yes. Oh, well, that one. Yeah. Now that's a regular watercolor card. It, what you have to move a bit quicker with that one because it doesn't stay. As oh, okay. The premier it, pads. The that premier we do. pad, right. Debbie. Yes. That's good for other techniques as well. But for this, the best results is with that premium one, because I'll show you why it, it stays wet longer. So what you're going to do? We're going to draw a horizon line with a black line like that, and then we're going to make it autumnal. So we're going to draw a bit of a that terracotta just above it, Debbie. And we're going to give it a bit of a leak underneath. So we're going to go with a tiny little bit of blue underneath. Check this out, right? So you get your brush. It's almost, um, it's really wet, just not dripping. And you go across like that and you <gasps> drag it up. And oh, you get my life. that amazing look. <gasps> it looks like a tree line created for you just by doing that like that, right? And then if you want to put a little bit of blue in the sky, we'll scribble that bit there and we'll pop a little bit of blue up there. Isn't it cool? And Craig was like, what? It was wow. the first week I did it when it was with Craig. And it was like, I can't believe it. And you are loving it. And the, the amount of wow. things that you've submitted to show how it works. It looks like a forest, doesn't it, in the it background? It does. It looks absolutely incredible. Right, shall we give it a leak? Shall we make a leak underneath? Watch. Oh, I've so forgotten about got the bottom the line. <gasps> and you pull underneath like that. No. And if it's not dragging <gasps> enough, just pull a little bit more. And then you've got... The reflection in the lake. Yeah. Oh my goodness! I know. So I'm and then just going to be practicing this. A little bit there and a little bit <sighs> here, like this. We'll pop a little bit That's of this brown here and a little bit here. Sheila, and I haven't seen you do this before. A little bit maybe of the blue. We can pop a little bit more of the blue, maybe just under here, so it gives it a little bit of a river again. And then and when you drag up here, it creates like grasses. <sighs> So that you've got that going over the lake. Oh my god, I want to And then it. under here, you've got the water again. <gasps> see? And then up here, we've got grasses again. And the oh foreground. Oh my lord, that is incredible. And then we can pop it. And then this could just be um, land down here. So if you pop a little bit of just the black and a little bit of the brown, we can just literally 
paint in the foreground with this to make it more wow. dense. And how cool is that? That's the draw that's... the line technique. And that's what you've all been creating the most wonderful artwork with and sharing online. Gina and it's cool. just... You've got a cool enough word for that demo. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fab, isn't it? It's so much fun, Debbie. Once, just be warned, once you start, yeah. like, you're going to have them all over the house drying. That's because so clever. Why you're going to try different colours and different techniques. And don't go back over the bit that's where it's wicked up too much. If you yep. like this bit at the top, leave that because yeah. that is, if you go and you brush over that, you lose that really pretty cool kind of like feathery thing that is but actually unbelievable how that's uh, created yeah that. and then you can put a little um like a moon or a something in the sky so that's the draw the line so wow. you pop a little bit of um water and create a a moon or a or a sun or whatever the time of day is there and we blot that out and then you just put the highlight in that as well then debbie so that's amazing that, bear with a bit of kitchen paper and then you've got that Look highlight that. and you can bring that down across the lake. That's incredible. It Isn't is absolutely it? amazing. Um, when Nicola just said, uh, prepare to have your mind blown, I genuinely didn't think she meant that I would have my mind blown. Uh, that has <laughs> totally blown my mind. That's incredible. And you know what? I'm just literally, I'm, gonna, I'm in the studio tomorrow. I'm going to practice that. Yeah, have a just go, honestly, it. it's such yeah, good fun. it's amazing. And just have a look online, there's so many people, you know that people are enjoying it when you get so many um, shares of, of, you know, your versions that you've been posting and yeah. they look phenomenal. They look just amazing. Well, everyone else's minds are blown as well. Um, Kathy is saying, um, oh, good, sorry, Barbara is saying, love that technique. Jas Janice is saying that's so cool. Wow, wow is saying, Brenda. Janice is saying, I can't wait to try that. Linda is saying, I love that. You, you shared this with us, uh, Sheena. And Sherry is saying, capital letters, love this. Vanessa is saying, wow. Uh, yeah, not just me that hasn't seen that technique before. That is uh, absolutely unbelievable. Um, um, and Kathy is asking if you could just um, let her know what the name of your group, Sheena, is. Yes, it's Sheena's Inc. S. I N K hyphen E T T E S. Amazing. And so, um, yeah, we, we've had loads joining every day, like loads and loads. Yeah. And there's, I think there's 8.2 thousand in that close group That's now. That's amazing. So it's yeah, really, it's, it's a so great group to have. Well, Sheena, thank you for stopping me demo for that because yeah, I've never no, heard of that. And for yeah. anyone new out there, you might have not heard of that. So it's called Draw the Line. Draw the Line. Well, wow. yes. I just it came up it was an idea I had a couple of weeks ago when I was yeah. on with Craig and I thought well before the show with Craig I thought oh wait let's see this this is I'd been looking at you can do a similar technique with them um, with liquid ink mm -hmm. um it works better than watercolors and it's it's all to do with the way the ink travels and and the it, color split and everything and I thought I wonder if you could do it with a pen and that would be so easy if mm. it worked and it did I went yes Eureka I'm so that's we've got a new could, technique. Do you think you could do the same Draw technique with alcohol markers and isopropyl? No. On no. UV paper? It's got no, because it, it doesn't, um, it needs to be um, move right. quite quickly. It, they, this ink um, wicks with the water, the cord, the type of watercolour yep. cord, mm -hmm. the sizing in it, yep. the, the water that you add and the type of um, ink that these are, the water-based inks, is what needs to travel quickly right. through that. Yeah, uh, that amazing. would set more, more quickly. Well, but that, yeah. that's amazing. Cool, right, shall we get back to the aquamarkers that yes. I rudely interrupted, but I think with a just uh, cause. Well, it was the thing is, they're on special, aren't they? So they if are. you're thinking of getting them, if that doesn't convince you, the amazing things you can do yeah. with them, then what are we going to do? Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> so. Apart so. from trees. So, yeah, exactly. We've trees, got trees. trees. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're tremendous, right? So we're going to take some of this colour. And so on Sharon's pictures, she's got like, it looks a real, again, I'm, I'm being like detective here. If you look, I really like this loose kind of splodgy background she's got going mm -hmm. on. It's got a, little, a lot of texture. So it doesn't look like it's particularly, um, you know, uh, it's random. It looks a bit random. So I'm not 100% sure how she's done it. So I'm just going to do this and hope it looks close to what Sharon's done. So I'm sure if she's watching, she'll be shouting at the telly going, nope, that wasn't it. <laughs> well, nope. if you're watching, messaging That was not Sharon. it. But, so 
Yeah, but this is what, what though, this is what you get in Sharon. <laughs> <laughs> so, Don't mess just, it in, Sharon. But, yeah, <laughs> so, but it, it's nice to just, you know, have a go and see what you can come up with. So my, my um, philosophy here is work around the outside. As long as you don't wet the trees, that paint shouldn't wick into the tree. Having said that, if it goes right close to the, you know, into the just into the foliage, I don't mind because we'll be able to. Um, we're going to colour that more than this bit anyway. I do yeah? love that effect though, just having that light blue in the background. It's nice, isn't it's it? Just nice. loose like that, and you know, you could uh, just yeah, it's pretty. I mean, you can put a little bit darker here and there if you want to, you know, mix it in a little bit more. But don't overdo it like I'm doing now. Just let it let it be, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Just you know, I like it. It, it actually makes it look like it's popping off the page now. It does. It gives mm. it that little bit. So I'm going to do that on, the, on all three. So if you missed it the first time, you have a go the second time. So like, it's a sec, just a little bit of water and then pop that then like that. And again, I think it's one of those techniques that, and often, you know, when you teach workshops that people think you've got to, to make it look better, you've got to suffer a bit more for it, you know, labor over it a bit. You know, like at school, you'd have your arm around it and your tongue would be sticking out, you know, and you'd do that, <laughs> you're concentrating. I used but, to do that when I used to play tennis. Did you? <laughs> and yeah, many years ago, and then I switched to badminton. I used to belong to the badminton club, yeah. So, um, uh, and I and people used to say, "Debbie, your tongue's out." Uh, <laughs> well, you're concentrating. Yeah, yeah. It's just like that. you didn't do the shouting that they've taken on board now, did you? <laughs> you what, sorry? The shouting that tennis players tend to do now. Mm, oh, no, I don't you think know what? so. Amazing, yeah. but you know. Virginia Wade didn't do that. Oh yeah, you weren't a mackerel. You didn't have a, you didn't have a tantrum, did you? Yeah, that's a tantrum. No, I never had tantrums. No, I but can't I think believe I just, it. There was oh. chalk. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love John Mackerel. You cannot be serious. Yeah, absolutely. But you know what? We love to boo him back in the day, and I love I love uh, mackerel now. I just do. Uh, yeah, but he's he was brilliant. a naughty boy, wasn't he back in back then? I know. Yeah, he was a naughty boy. I mean, he was very funny. Yeah. Yeah. And you have like the British oh, I see. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, you, know, you don't get that from Virginia Weed. No. <laughs> no, it's the noise that they make when they hit the ball now. Oh, you know? know, it's like, oh, is it necessary? I'm sorry, but, you know. <laughs> but who was the one? She was very, very vocal. Sharapova. That's it, she yes. did, yeah, yeah, she was. No, too. there was someone before her. Um, well, it was a tennis player that got shot. I don't know who invented shot, it, but she? it's like they needed to like not bother. It just all of a sudden happened, didn't it? Where Monica Sellers, that's Did she, who it was. Was she the one? She was, was she? Yeah, I found her very difficult to watch. Yeah. But this is a nice this set in the scene for a nice tennis in the back lawn on the back lawn. Yes, lovely. Strawberries and cream, possibly a pims. Uh, with a, that's a, not possibly, Sheena. I think a that's definite, a definite yeah. pin. Yes, jug of pin. That's the only reason you're sitting in the bottom on the back lawn, isn't it? <laughs> Dropping I, thought, the hint. I might have played better if I'd had some pins then. <laughs> Waiting for the pins to arrive. If I sit long enough, I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> that's why my tongue was out. <laughs> right. So I'm going to just wipe that up now. But we've got now we've got that really nice. Um, and, but how quick it was. You know, it was quick. It was three ready. So we're good to go. We're going to dry that quickly because, and I'll tell you why, if we don't dry it, when we come to paint the tree, the, because this is wet, it'll, it'll draw the colour into the background as well. Mm -hmm. So um, you've got to flatten those fibres and stop that happening. Um, I dry a lot in between layers when I'm colouring in with watercolours yep. because it does exactly that. It makes it behave again when we paint with it. It stops it moving other than where I'm putting it. It's flattening the fibres down. So oh, that that's interesting starts, to know. Yeah, so it, you, you're starting from scratch kind of thing. Um, so it makes it behave more, better for you. So it's worth just doing that, guys. Right but I do tip. like that splodgy background, just like that. Just loose and um, works a treat. We're going to do some little texture splattery bits on there as well. So the next thing I think I'll do, I'm going to do them like a production line here. I think we're going to use... In fact, we are not thinking. I know we're going to use the aqua pens for the trunks, the tree trunks. So we're going to pick a brown, and um, I'm kind of liking uh, the sepia and tan. Let's, in fact, let's go with tan from the uh, the that's the one, the essential set. 
Okay, so um, there's a couple of ways you can do this. The first way is to just take the chance and put a dark line like that. And depending on the card you're using, because Sharon's prepped these for me, I'm not sure what card she's used, but can you see it's grabbed, it's mm -hmm. not moving? Yep. Right, so that means that I would be better off putting it on with a brush. That's just one of those things to know, okay? okay. So if you're using a card that is grabbing the colour, like this is, right, um, it's best off brushing it on right. because you won't be able to put it on with your brush and then drag it out it's just going to okay. fix it and you, there's no way for you to go with that okay so do it this way and then you've it's got always more good control to try out your cardstock yes try out your cardstock before you do yep for sure so we'll pop that there so we're going to do so we'll do these ones but because i know that's what happened there i'm going to just pick up the color on my round brush, not much water this time, more just um, the, so less water obviously means you're gonna get a more concentrated version of that color. But that's what we want. On the dark side, I'm thinking, let's pop it, make that a little bit more in shadow. And we'll I've definitely under the tree, little cast shadow like that. So keeping it simple and just a few bits here and there where you can see the branches sort of coming through like this. You can see on this stamp, where there's just a hint of some branches showing. And we'll do the last one. Like that. Let's scribble a little bit more down. So can you see how frugal they are as well? I mean, these pens will are just such good value and great play, um, playability with these. You won't get bored because there's so, much, so many things you can do with them and techniques and things. Um, they're like the Swiss Army knife of colouring product. <laughs> <laughs> um, and also very frugal because when you're scribbling the yeah. ink on the mat, it's not even a porous surface, so it's using hardly any of your product. Exactly. There. Yeah. Um, and then there's stuff to spare. So that I think will do there. We could put a little hint of green in the bottom as well. Let's do that with a little bit of olive. Touch of olive. Touch of olive. Olive. Do you yeah. like olives? Sorry. Do you like olives? I, I do like olives. Mm. Yes, I do. I do. I That's thought, I was gonna, I thought like. they were one of those things that I wouldn't like because I just didn't like the look of them and I thought I wouldn't like them. And then someone said, try them, you might like them. And as soon as I bit into it, it was horrible. Oh, um, did you not like them? Yeah, so I'm not going to have one again. So I didn't. I, <laughs> I should have stuck yeah. with my guns. I didn't want one and I didn't like it. <laughs> we were just talking about, about that, about um, avocados. Because back in the day, I mean, many years ago, you know, I'm getting on a bit. It wasn't the, wasn't the done thing. You know, people didn't have avocados all no. the time then. And we would call them avocado pear. That's so it, I, yeah. Yeah, so I got an avocado and I thought, oh, I'll have a try of that. And I thought, you just eat it like a pear. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> but I do love them now. I do um, like them, especially when I lived in America, in California, with mm -hmm. a lot of um, Mexican food with the guacamole and, and yeah. oh, I love it. Yeah, very nice. Right, so we've got three trees prepped all the same. What's going to make them different is the colour that we're going to put on them. So let's just do the straightforward green one to start with, yeah? Um, so this is where I thought we could bring the aquas into the mix. Okay, not the aquas, the sparkles. So let's say this guy in the, here is going to be the, the one we're going to go with this. So what I'm going to do, and I'm going to pop some of this yellowy, um, gorgeous colour here, like that. So again, it's like um, I was saying earlier, they think of your trees as like broccoli. You know, their broccoli is all little bits like florets, yep. and it's in clumps. That's kind of how they grow on your branches like that. So. We've got the yellowy um, colour there, and then we'll go in with the green. Now, the thing is here, I'm very conscious that this card might not move very much once it's on there, and it's not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some of the stuff out of my pen there, and I'm going to pick it up and put it on with a brush because I can blend it a bit more. If I put, go straight on with the pen, it's not going to move on this card. Right. If this was the watercolour card, um, it would blend better, yeah? Yeah. So that's the way, card is so important and it's so boring. It's, I mean, it's white card, it's hard to get excited over it, isn't it, really? When you see all these other great things that we could be, you know, talking about and buying yeah, when it does and such playing a good with, job. it's like white card, but it makes the biggest difference to 
anything. I was saying this earlier, you know, with watercolorists, watercolor artists, Debbie. Yeah. So you've got your card, you've got your paint, and you've got your brushes. Yeah? Yeah. In order of priority, what do you think is the most important thing that watercolor artists would say? Oh, so after you paint, saying that, probably paint, your yeah. card. But, card but I would have said brushes. brushes. Yeah, you would have, I would have thought paint first, the quality of your paint, then your brushes, and then your card. No, absolutely not. It's the card is the most important thing. Right. Because the card is going to dictate what anything that you put on top of it is going to do. If that card has got a high chalk content that this one has, and you can't see it, it's in there, but what it's doing is preventing anything moving across the surface. It's just grabbing it and setting it, much like your printer, you know, your printer paper card for your water jet, watercolour printer mm -hmm. at home. That's what it's doing, it's kind of setting it and fixing it. But we've got that first one done there. That looks amazing. Quite pretty, yeah? Very pretty. So let's do, let's try the, um, let's try the spring one next. Yeah. Oh yes. So I'm thinking we'll go a little bit with this really pretty pink here. So this, even if the whole tree virtually ends up pink, I don't care because you know when you get cherry blossom. Yeah. It's not quite the right shape for cherry blossom, but you know what? It's our tree and it's our stamp. And Absolutely. We've got That's the beauty, license. isn't it? Yeah, that you exactly. can use whatever colour. So I'm just going to give that a bit of a shake so I can get some stuff going here. So always start with your lighter colour. Okay, so this is why I thought these three trees would be really nice for beautiful beginnings because it's the same tree, exactly the same tree. We've even painted part of it exactly the same, but we're mixing up the colour to show just how changing the colour affects the look. Yeah. Even so, which is why stamps are brilliant because even if you just change the colour scheme up, if you use the same technique, change the colour scheme up, it's going to keep you playing for ages. So now I've got this stronger pink, this really, really rich, dark, gorgeous, intense pink here. But this definitely needs to be watered down a little bit because it is super, super strong. Can you see? Yes. Yeah, and I'm putting that in the like the darker bits and underneath me broccoli bits on my branch. So just keeping so that the, the light pink um, is kind of sitting on the top of these clusters that I've drawn. Yeah. That's amazing, What? because you've been actually very clever with that tree, because now it just looks like blossom. Yes, that's right, exactly. So this is where that one tree can take you virtually through the whole of the year, other than winter, really. Love that, so pretty. It's nice, isn't it, with the pink? Yeah, so a little bit just in there. And then you've got the kind of the shading, the shaping of it, and but also that really, really pretty. And then we can go over this pink here just to blend that in a little bit more, give it a bit more bling. And when this dries, we'll be able to see it properly. And we could put a little bit of bling at the bottom like this so that it looks like those, you know, when they shed the thing and you got a little bit where it's fallen on the bottom of your painting. Oh, like yeah, that. that's very clever. It's pretty, that, isn't it? That's it looks so like an illustration pretty. from a little book. That is on itself, itself by itself, on a card, yep. a greeting. Great. Absolutely. So we've got two, two trees done here. Wow. Let's do the autumn one. Yeah? Yes. So for the autumn, we're going to definitely use this orange and we'll use this yellow again and possibly the brown. So, um, you know, you could even use a bit of the pink. I'm not even going to tidy this up at, uh, at the minute. So back with the yellow, because that's going to be the, the lightest tone on these trees here. So just look at where they've, if you look, when I've drawn the trees, what I use for the texture of the leaves is like a scribbly scribble um, to give it the look of lots of leaves and foliage together. And to make it look like there's contour and shape to it, um, mm -hmm. where I want it to look shaded, I basically just use more scribble. So where there's more scribble, that means put a bit of shadow there. So that would be where we can maybe go in with a little bit of this. That's strong as well. Let's go a little bit. Let's pop this on with a, with a brush, just because I know that we can blend it a bit more with that. So light on the top, then this a bit further in next to it. And then we might use that brown just for even more depth and contouring in there as well. I love this. I love that um, sort of how you've done that darkness, that shading, those different tones. Uh, it does show you that how one stamp, and bearing in mind you've got three stamps in this collection, how each one can look different every time you do it. Yeah, that's, what, that's why I love these full days 
of being able to show just what you're getting in the investment because that thing with stamps, they don't, they're not a consumable, they don't, they're not like a paper where you've bought it and then use it and it's, that's it, it's gone. Um, these are gonna, they're gonna last and last and last, especially being photopolymer. I mean, these are robust. Yes. So you're gonna, you want, gonna want to be playing with these and still being challenged and coming up with ideas and techniques and in a year's time and two years time. Um, so that's where the value comes in is the, um, how flexible they are really. So we've got that there, and then we're gonna finish with a little bit of that darkish brown in there, but look at how pretty and autumnal that looks. So a little bit of this brown, Debbie. Oh, and what we'll do is we'll put some of those um, leaves on the bottom as well with this one. Yep. That's amazing. So a little bit more like this. So not quite as much of this because it is strong, but it, is, it does work if you have a little bit here and there, just to give it that bit of pop it, it does make it look even more 3d because it adds more shadow um into the mix yeah that's beautiful it's pretty isn't it so pretty and, and then really what we can do is on the bottom well. we'll add a little bit of just the, the yellow there and just little scribbly bits and then we'll pop a little bit of just that coppery color might be a little bit strong but we'll and if so, she thinks that pink tree of yours lives next in our next door garden. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> so uh, we're going to dry this up. I'll give those three a dry, Debbie, and yes. I'll mount them on the thing, and then you can have a look and see what they look like. How about that? Absolutely. While you're doing that, I will just read out some comments because there's lots coming through. Um, uh, Lillian saying, Sheena, they're hitting those tennis balls at 130 miles an hour, so she's not surprising they grunt like they do. <laughs> um, look at the tennis rackets now as well, compared to what they used to be, the wooden frame, Dunlop. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. With a, with a, with a, um, a grid on it to stop them from warping. Absolutely. Uh, Vanessa's in uh, saying uh, Sheena is blowing my mind with all her techniques. Christine Mahoney is in saying hello. Uh, oh, hello, Debbie. A pleasant surprise. Yes, I've popped in for this evening. Um, and. Uh, uh, Sandy is saying, I love trees. I would love to live in the midst of the forest so that when planes go over my house that I can't be seen from the sky. Um, she said, your trees, Sheena, are gorgeous. Um, Susie is saying about avocados that she loves them and she's saying that I might like the black ones. She said they're less um, salty and strong, so maybe I need to try yes. those ones. Oh, let's try them, yeah. Yes, perhaps I need to try black olives. Um, Andrew's in saying, with the draw the line techniques, once you have the moon uh, and the sun put into your card, um, you can have Santa flying across them and voila, you have a Christmas card sorted. Yeah, that's a really good idea, Andrew. Janice is in saying, Sheena, I think you could paint a bubblegum wrapper and it would look good. <laughs> uh, Anne is in saying, oh, saying about the pink tree. Sherry's saying that it looks like our dogwoods, uh, full of pink blossom um, and Roseanne saying I never really appreciated watercolour until I started seeing Sheena um, uh, what she does and she's become my favourite choice uh, to colour with um, you, it's so impressive oh, oh that's a really nice you. thing to say so uh, thank you for that Roseanne thank you Roseanne brilliant so what I'm doing I forgot but what looks really cool is that little bit of that little um, spatter kind of the, with yeah, the colour the nice. actual colour so I'm going to do that with all of them. I'm going to use a bit of pink on there. Then I start to dry them a little bit more, mount them up, and then we are good to go. So use it, water it down a little bit. Um, don't have it too wet and just tap your brush and you get smaller little drops and, like, and more controllable. If you have um, it less wet, you can, um, the little smaller kind of um, texture than big splodges. And then we'll do this one and we'll do this one with a bit of green on it, I think. The, the, um, darker green there and then we've got three pretty trees kind of a bit like um warhol kind of esque as well you know the three different very different color options um all right and then right so i'm going to dry them again debbie oh, sorry no and you're absolutely we'll, fine um, we'll stick them together um so quick quick blast and then we're good they're beautiful i love just how each one of them looks really different um but the same tree just looks incredible absolutely love them 
They're pretty, aren't they? Very Do you have a favourite, Debbie? You what, sorry? Do you have a favourite of the three? Oh, I love all of them. I really do love all of them. I quite like the, um, what's the little tree, the, like the stubby tree? <laughs> that one, oh, the, the oak tree. Yeah, this yeah, one. the oak, yeah, the wide one. I love that's that. That's vast, that's huge, that tree. It was so pretty, um, really Excuse impressive. Excuse me calling it a stubby tree. <laughs> yeah, the stubby tree, the stubby tree. So we'll pop this on there. Um, bear with. It's a shame, seeing as we've got this stuff together there, we may as well stick it together, eh? And we'll put this guy in the middle on the green. I do love this idea of having the different seasons. Yeah, absolutely. So I think we might do your, um, we'll do your stubby tree next, Debbie. You have <laughs> the stubby tree. <laughs> we'll do the stubby tree stubby next. Tree. <laughs> love that. <laughs> And this is nice, putting them onto different uh, coloured cardstock. Absolutely, really yeah. Really frames them. That's right, yeah. And then finally that one. And just an art liner, pen around the edges to frame. Just a, exactly, art liner, a little scribbly scribble around the outside. And they look fab. Actually, I've missed the stand hole on that, this one in the middle. So you've got to decide which one you're going to put in the middle. And I think the green one with the two coloured ones either side would look pretty cool. So I need the stand tall stamp on there. So let me find that one, uh, stand tall. And we'll pop it on the rocker block. On those. And let's pop it, let's use that um, brown that we've got in the, um, in the bundle, if I can find it. Right, right, right in front of me. That's why I couldn't find it. Right, so you probably should have done this before I did all the rest of it, but eh. There you go. Stand tall. Oh, amazing. That looks and then so cool. We've got the, is this the card? Yes, yeah, so, so I'm not going to do it now, we'll do it later, just because, you know, you're going to be like, I want to move on, I want to see something else. We're going to stick that there, and this guy's going to go 3D's in the middle, and that's not a bad homage to um, that fabulous card. That's absolutely beautiful. I'm actually thinking, doing these, these look like prints for your walls as well, that absolutely. you could do home decor. Wall art, um, yeah. Absolutely because stunning. The thing is, the stamps are just, the, the kind of, they're not as interesting bit, the technical, like getting the shape right and the scale right. The, mm -hmm. the fun bit is this bit you get to do with the creativity yeah. that goes on top of it. They're like, the stamps are a tool. I've always said the stamps are a tool. They're not the art. Absolutely. You're creating the art. Yeah, yeah, they are totally incredible. Rhonda's saying, where's the winter tree? But actually, the winter tree is just the stamp on its own, isn't it? Uh, without the anything, tree? But um, the, a winter one. Winter one, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, they're absolutely sure. beautiful. Um, if you did want to uh, go for those three stamps, uh, these are the three different ones that you've got there. That middle one is the one that Sheena's using, which is absolutely beautiful. We're we'll head back to her to see that finished card. Um, but if you do want those ones, grab that showstopper because you're also getting your watercolour cardstock and you're getting your ink pad as well, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, and just what you need really when you uh, want to start your colouring journey something nice and easy but also something that's very versatile um right sheena have you stuck all those down should we have a look at the finished card have you got your yeah well card? i haven't done the 3d oh, i need to find some yet. 3d form which will be over there somewhere no problem but just imagine that 3d in the middle Incredible. And I'll do that at some point, and that's our first card of the night. But I just oh, think that that's is so amazing. pretty. That's absolutely that. amazing. Thank you for showing us that. What about that? A, a threefer in a card, that one. Uh, anyway, we're going to let you uh, have uh, check out your uh, baskets. Now, if you don't know what all this Club Inspire is that we're talking about, have a look at this and see what it's all about. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafter's companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course, the Club Inspire community group on Facebook. 
where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration. And of course, you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble? Or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be should be coming in. in. Should be coming. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly what does she do? <laughs> This is awesome! This is awesome! Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I walk you every day. And it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom. There's a show for every type of crafter, from first-time dabblers to full-time makers. Crafters TV, create every day. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, really skilled at what they do, and they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crafters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the product. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. Community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100% is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. Oh, welcome back to Crafters TV. Um, it's, I'm trying to work out the day, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Yes, Wednesday evening. Uh, you're joining us for Beautiful Beginnings. It's where we strip everything right back and show you some really cool techniques uh, and just how to do them. And what better person in the building to do that than Sheena? Uh, loads of you absolutely loving what Sheena's doing tonight. Um, uh, Khalees is saying these trees uh, look like they're so much fun to try. Uh, Mary Pat is saying beautiful Sheena. Susan's saying and tremendous uh, that's our Sarah's uh, saying she always says that um, and Jean is saying Sheena makes me feel like I can do this um, I love that because I think that's uh, something that all of us think as well she you do make us feel like we can Good. all do that I'm definitely gonna try that line, um, uh, Yo, yeah. line yeah what is it called again draw the line draw the line draw, draw the, the line, line. Uh, nice and easy and I can't even say it but there you go <laughs> uh, right let's move on so we're selling the trees tonight but also we have 
have the sparkle pens which Sheena's been showing. Uh, now we've popped these in new configurations for you. They are amazing sparkle pens. Um, I feel like, look, they're all going to match my colour now polish on there. Um, lots of different colours there, right from your autumn. So let's go through each one of these. This one is your uh, earthy neutrals. So you can see all those three colours, um, some of them what tree, uh, Sheena was using. Trina, I was going to call you Trina because I was thinking of the tree. Using on the Trina. tree, but Sheena was using <laughs> on the tree uh, for those autumn colours. Uh, love these ones. Such beautiful colours in that one. And that one is your antique, vintage antique. Uh, we've then got our beautiful tint and tone. That's got that most gorgeous black uh, glitter one in there, which is amazing, sparkle pen. And then you've got your essential brights. You're getting all of those pens today for £35 or $50. Platinum price, £28 or $40. So they're amazing. Uh, right, let's go back to that showstopper. The showstopper itself is coming with your watercolour cardstock, uh, also with your water resistant ink pad, uh, and also those three beautiful stamps, which are brand new and launched today. Um, you're absolutely loving them and uh, enjoying all of Sheena's uh, demos that she's had uh, in the previous shows today. So if you did want to watch some of those extra um, tutorials, then go back and watch Wake Up Call uh, and Launch Day as well. Uh, now we're going to head back to Sheena and, uh, and see what else she's got in store. Sheena, what have you got? Well, it's another Sharon card, this one, because I like this because she's got that transition from uh, summer to autumn there with the big tree the, what, what did you call it before uh, the, the stumpy, stumpy tree, tree. <laughs> the stumpy tree yeah yeah that was it any, any, not a very um, nice name yeah, for it yeah. <laughs> nature touring with with debbie because it is a tree. huge tree but it We've looks like the, the stumpy tree one. the stumpy tree <laughs> The bendy tree. <laughs> so the stumpy tree. The stumpy um, tree. So what I thought we could do is that. That's is, beautiful. Isn't it cool? That? That? Yeah, I like that. So so I've got a piece of card already pre-cut. Now it's a big ask to do this with the rocker block to get two of them. And that's a big stamp. But I'm gonna attempt it. So just saying that had this card been cut a little bit larger, I would have stamped it on the repositionable just to make sure yeah mm -hmm. but the cards kind of trim to size just for time for the shows so we'll do our best and hope that that is enough okay to get this on here the two trees um stamped on there as we want them to be um just the repositionable one would mean that i could go over it because there's a lot and there's a lot of solid ink uh rub them um, well it's not rubber um photopolymer it's a, it's a, a big flat area yep. there, which is usually harder to stamp in one you've normally got to go to like a repositionable to get it um you know i mean that's time. quite good straight away because it means that that's almost coloring that bit in for yeah you you you're not used to in. doing your your background there. absolutely debbie so what i'm going to do i'm going to try and position it so that i've got this just off the side of this card here and going for it you're going rock for it i like rocked. that right that's a good okay we can work with that because this i can color in okay that's yep. okay so now that i need to incredible. ink this up again and we need to get that other we need to repeat that on there what i would have done for sure doing this again and doing it in your own time in your workroom yep. is have a bigger piece of card and trim it down because I'm going to have more of one tree and less of another here. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. So what you could, I would definitely do that and, and then, like I say, do that like that and, and two. It looks now, cool though. So what we, what we need to correct here is a, a, a few things. Not, it's not disastrous, we can work with it, is we need to make this look more solid and like it's all together, yeah? Yeah. So I'm using the brush pen from the um, art liners and this is why I keep saying, you know, I love these, these pens are just so good for, um, you know, for this kind of situation where it kind of, the get out of jail pens, you know, they, yeah. they, they're helping you out because we've got that transition there now where it went darker because we had double um, the ink on there. We've got a bit here that we need to cover up. Can you see yep. there? So absolutely. The, and this is, and the thing is about this ink as well is it's water resistant. So when I, going to um, put in some colour on this 
it's not going to move so we're safe with using it like this if we use a, one of the aqua markers when we come to color the rest of it in this would all be um really um it would smudge and it'd be uh, just a splodgy yeah. mess but this won't now because we've used the right ink to get the job done that so now amazing. we can't really see that joint as much at all here we could make this look maybe a little bit see make that tree look a bit more like it's coming around there and we could pop this little line can you see where just join it up yeah. a little bit just to make the two images come together yeah. it looks amazing and then and if there's any other little bits that you've missed this is where your, your your pen can come in and little bits in the tree but i think we'll just color that in i think we'll be okay with that but that's how we've disguised the join is with the um the brush um the brush pen and these are in front of the sheep so don't worry it's not like that they're like tiny little sheep and giant plants because <laughs> this is in the foreground so yeah like that looks amazing um so now we get to just color that in and much like we just did the other one but what we'll do is we'll use the um let's use the ink pads the water reactive ink pads to color the sky amazing. in because i'm all for making things as easy as possible debbie yeah and this is where if you use a um uh like your blending tool for large areas you get a lot of color put down effect effectively um and quickly yeah so we may as well do that so what i'm doing is i'm using i've already got some oh you know what if you've got some um check out on your mat be careful you haven't got any wet bits on your blending on your glass mat because if you have you might well pick up oh, um, right, a bit yeah. of water and if you do it sinks into your card and you can't get rid of it you know right. what i mean yeah so well, i'm going here because i've already got some color on my applicator this um baby blue certainly doesn't look baby blue this is not the color it's more getting towards the color there is what it should be but because i already had used it previously and had some of the midnight on it it looks, looks nice, darker it looks, than it, it looks is. a little stormy it does well that's what i want i do i'm going to use that anyway debbie i'm going to put some darker along the top because it kind of makes the sky look like it's going back a little bit yeah. if you do and we'll put some clouds in there um as well so and what you can do you can go from summer let's make this side look <gasps> should we have a play oh should let's have oh, a play yes yeah. let's make this side sunny and we'll try and make this side look a bit stormy because oh, it's autumn yes well get me caught spielberg of the card world again <laughs> so what we'll do is we'll try with the anthracite here and I'm going to use the side of this applicator and I'm going to drag down and across. Oh, love that. So this looks now like it's a bit of a, a stormy kind of. That's an amazing technique. Isn't it cool? I've, yeah, I just, very cool. Yeah, I discovered that ages ago when I was using one of these blending things because it caught the edge and I thought, ha ha, much like the draw the line, I wonder. And so, wow, so we'll have this sunny, and we've got that wintry, and we'll have it go into even a bit darker here. Um, so you're going kind of through the seasons with your stamp. Yep. It does or it could stormy, be, it's it? almost like looking when it's sunny. It's like when you're abroad in a, in a rainstorm and you can see it coming across. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah, and you can see it coming from the clouds, can't you? And you think, uh-oh, I'm yeah. pleased I'm here, not there. That's so cool. that's that stormy there. So we'll make this cleaner, brighter colours and we'll make this more uh, muted to go with the autumnal ones as well. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm having to think, right, let's put the clouds in the sky here let's make these pretty little fluffy clean clouds here that is summer day lovely um kitchen paper and then just blot it and we've got one cloud done we'll put another one down here Susie's saying that her favourite word today, this is her second show that she's been doing, um, she's on the social, says, shall we have a play? She said, now every time that you say it, she gets goosebumps because she gets really excited at what you're going to create. I Yay. love that. Cool. Yeah, it is, because it is play. It's like, should we try and do this? See what happens here. Let's make this a dark cloud yep. here. Let's put more of a stormy cloud in this side. So we've got the, the rain coming down. So we'll make this one a bit darker at the bottom like this. That is and we'll so make cool. it bigger. Definitely storm clouds are brewing here, Debbie. That's amazing. It's 
good fun though, isn't it? Yeah, really good fun. I love that. And and actually, this is really good to enhance your colouring skills, to have a play uh, by doing it on a card so you can see those differences yes. um, on one side and the other. And I would never have thought to do that, but I absolutely love that. It's, it's, it is it is a nice technique to do. Um, we'll use some of the pens. So we've got the inks brought in there. We will use some of the aquas for the other for the rest of it, eh? Let's because as I said, when you start collecting these things, and you will, because why would you not when everything's at such a good price as well? Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, there's, it's folly to go elsewhere, to be honest, because and I've tried a lot of everything that's out there. I think I've virtually tried, and I've got to say the quality of all this stuff here is right at the top of everything I've tried so yeah. you know and then you've got the price which is like what it's a no-brainer so I'm going to use this tree I'm going to do it bright and summery and Latin lovely and vivid and so I'm going to use some of the meadow and I'm going to use a bit of this um, of that bright green here and um, this is from the floral set so we're using bud green meadow and I may as well use the leaf green and we'll go for full-on bright sunny uh, look with this tree here. So I'm going to lift out some of this blue that I've got in the um, in the top of the tree, just around the outside. But that's okay because we can, and especially um, if you've got like even a really good card, this will lift out even easier. So I'm going to take the lighter colour. Always start with your lighter colour because we can always darken it. And I'll put a bit of this next one down. So this is really juicy and vibrant. These colours. The meadow is a very, very um, in your face, shiny, shiny, not going to miss its green. <laughs> and then this one's a bit more muted. So we'll pop, um, we probably should have put a sun or something there, and then we can have this all light here. Should we put a, let's put a sun or something just coming behind here, the clouds. Let's put this just there. If it'll lift, let's hope it will. With a bit of encouragement, Debbie. Uh, sorry, Sheen, I was watching you then. Did you talk to me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just saying, we'll put the cloud, uh, the sun in the sky, and just um, so it's just coming through there, and we'll give it a little bit of a just a tint of a, a yellowy kind of. I do love that technique of just um, faux bleaching and creating that sun. It's, fab, it's a very it? simple technique and anyone can do it, can't they? Yeah, it's so easy. Yeah, so put the colour in and then take the colour out. It's such a good way of doing it. So then we'll take this limey green and we'll pop this more towards this side of the, of the picture. Mm -hmm. So again, on your, on your broccoli bits on the top, the very light green. And if you, again, use less water, you'll get a stronger colour. So um, we're going to go full on colour for these guys. So keep going with they're that. They're very rich in colour these aren't they? Sorry? Very rich, oh, rich in so colour. Well, yeah. And that's where the value comes in because you're using them dilute most of the time. I very, I don't think I hardly ever use them direct from the pen mm -hmm. because they're, they're so strong that you're going to want to water them down anyway. And then we've got this other bright green in here. That's so pretty cool isn't it just Very the way cool. it just comes together so the three greens we'll pop that there and we'll make the um the grass really vibrant on this side and we'll put some leaves falling on the other side that'll be fun it's nice to come up with something a bit different like mm. that and i love that sharon's given that idea and then you just go with it and do your version of it absolutely and that's exactly what it should be like and that's why the like the inquettes exist so that you can be inspired and go oh it doesn't have to be a carbon copy and actually it doesn't mean that that's the best way if yours doesn't look like exactly like the one that you're looking at and doesn't mean yours is wrong it just means it's a bit different and you know yeah. what even if the guys who made the original card made it again it wouldn't look the same yeah they look different every time you make them yeah absolutely and i think it's why you make it look so achievable for everybody to do as well because you, they know and we know that you can do your own version and your own take on them exactly exactly and you know teaching workshops it's um you always find people are so complimentary to their neighbors stuff yes but there's their own it's like 
you know, and, and you should, you should be able to say, wow, I like that. I love that. I do. Yeah. When I've done that, I go, yeah, I was all kinds of smiling when I come up with the draw the line thing. <laughs> I was like the Cheshire cat. Yeah, I bet. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Yeah, was that I heard on a comedy something. or something? I was like the cat that learned how to use a tin opener. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that brilliant quote? So we've got a bright, fluffy, summery tree here, and we're going to make this grass really bright and summery that it's sitting on and then we're going to go autumn and moody on the other side so the left is where i want to be going to sit exactly that's where you want to hang out there yeah and that's what it was like the day that these sheep were there oh it was just such a beautiful gorgeous setting lovely um scene and it was just perfect it was just lovely so I didn't realise, Sheena, that the art liners are waterproof. Yeah, yes, yes which is they're amazing. brilliant. So for this kind of technique, honestly, I know that everything that you think, oh well, it's just for people who draw. No, they're not. They're for stampers to get you out of jail if you if you ah, need a little bit of a. Oh, that didn't. You know, I need to. Maybe you, you've got like. Um, you know, missed a bit and you think, I don't want to restamp this whole thing for that couple of lines or all that foreground where all you needed was a join to make it work. Yeah. yeah? So I'm putting this great, this charcoal down here, even though it is a lovely day, because it was so nice, it was casting shadows. Uh, yeah. But see, it's so, it makes it look bright and sunny still. So we'll just put a little touch of colour suggested in this background here. These little trees in the distance. And these would probably be a bit more bluey, kind of greyed out because they're further back. And you don't have to worry about, you know, doing all the detail and things on these guys because they're just like, you know, you don't see loads of detail because they are more in the distance. So we've got summer almost done there. We're going to put the white back on the sheep and actually shade the sheep a little bit with a bit of this grey as well because you don't want them just completely white. And then, um, catch a little bit we need to catch look for any white bits showing through it because you don't want any white showing through that foreground either so full on full sun sunny summer we're going to put some let's do the white now and then you can see how it's going to look so your white you've got your white gel pen which is what most of us have uh, this is a really good one this uniball if you're looking for a good one and we've got this white um brush pen here so what i'm going to do is the brush pen is a little bit it's softer, so you can get like a, a soft highlight, whereas the gel pen gives you much more of a, a harsh line. Um, this one's really nice for, for if you want it to be a bit, you know, uh, more fluffy and less of a, a um, it's like a kind of like, if you imagine reflections on, on solid objects tend to have a really white sharp line to reflect but when it's softer it's much more soft um reflection so trees would obviously be a softer reflection but we can still do that with your um gel pen you just have to be a little bit more sparing with it um or if you put it on there you can um blend it with your water if you're quite quick as well so we'll pop some highlights on there on the tree Again, so just, just so Mary Pat is asking uh, Sheena, interrupting yeah. you, because uh, it's a good chance to ask you actually. She says, do you have to wait till things are totally dry before you can rework them? or And is it okay to go back to something a day later? Oh yeah, go back to them a day later for sure. Absolutely, definitely. With water-based products, you, you can usually re-wet them um, quite quickly. Yeah. Um, um, sorry, quite quickly. Even a, a, like a, a week later, they'll, they'll so still be So you can still take wet. away colour even when it's completely dry? Um, yes, absolutely, yeah. Even the, for the aquas, um, they do, they're really forgiving. They'll stay wet, they'll lift still, um, you know, quite, um, you know, quite a time after you've painted with them, um, which is, makes them so user friendly. And honestly, not all colouring products, and believe me, you should see all the colouring products we've got. Oh. It's, t it's bad. Um, they're not all as user friendly and as forgivable um, as these um, aqua, uh, aqua markers and um, water reactive ink pads. So I've not seen that before. So the gel pen, you can add yes. water, you can move that with water. Yeah, I didn't absolutely. Know that. And it softens it, Debbie. So you've got much less of that hard, like laser kind of line, and it's much wow. more fluffy. Um, and then uh, you can you know, put some little highlights where you want, like maybe a little bit on the grass here and oh, there. Oh, I never knew that. That's amazing. Yeah. 
uh, and then just you see just I need drag to it. smudge it I've smudged it with my finger before but never with uh, a water brush yeah so that oh we'll put, put that little bit more white in this um cloud here as well I'm using this this white roller ball one um because it's just a bit stronger mm -hmm. um and I want that to cover up quite well there so I'm just doing swirly scribbles there on that just to go over that um the sun and then that's I'll amazing just soften it a little bit and maybe soften that around there a little bit more wow so we've got a lovely sunny summer's day there oh and that's the park i want to go and right <laughs> and we're going to get a little bit more moody as we move along here <laughs> so a little bit more stormy this so is a great demo i love this we'll one set the um we'll set the tone with the with the grass so it's going to be far less vibrant we'll use this mid green still but we'll probably take it down and have a bit more um definitely some of that and some of this um leaf green but we'll have a bit more of charcoal maybe in there as well so a bit more muted um so more shadow yeah, yeah. so i'm going to come across like here and it's going to transition to more of a um you know a darker kind of setting straight away under here so pop that there and i don't want to make it too too much color initially because mm -hmm. i want to um put some autumn leaves falling um here as well so i'll pop that there so much more gray can you see we've got much more gray yeah far less sunny and then we'll also play around with that in a minute with when we get some more color let's make these trees in the background much more gray So they're the distant trees. So taking Su the colour. Susie's in. saying, if the comments stop, Debs, just uh, to let you know, give me a nudge or a shout because I'm watching open mouthed. <laughs> 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 yeah, it is quite impressive, Sheena, what you're doing here. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'm having it looks fun. Incredible. I'm, I'm I'm really playing here. I'm just, just enjoy I'm enjoying it. Is this where I've forgotten what I, where I am and what I'm doing? Because I'm in, in me like little playing zone. zone now, which is nice, isn't it? To be Absolutely. Able to do that. So we'll put some white on the, the top of these dark, moody clouds here as well. So moody we clouds. There. Moody clouds and stubby tree. Yeah, moody <laughs> clouds, exactly. Yeah. Thundery, moody, kind of, oh, yeah. Yeah, run for cover. We saw that as well on the Mohawk holiday. We had a fabulous um, summer in um, Ludlow in the van, but oh, every nice. night it was when, you know, when we were getting those thunderstorms yep. a few months, a couple of months back. Every night you'd see the sky and it would go dark like this. And you could see that coming over the thunder and the, and the dodgy weather it was like, oh, run for cover. It really was um, dramatic. It was pretty Amazing. cool, really. I bet it was. Yeah. Uh, so you like things so some people are scared of thunderstorms i quite like a good thunderstorm oh yeah no i loved it yeah, yeah. as long as you're not under a tree or anything like that That's yeah it. um yeah no i was loving it it was fabulous so i've got some colors here we've, we've, i've moved to the um nature set debbie and i've got warm autumn kind of colors going on here um we've got topaz fawn and chestnut and they're lovely and we might still use a little bit of that green in there you know just where it's still a lot a little bit of color still left in there somewhere you know somewhere so i'm not even going to lighten this too much here because i want it to look moody and dark so where we've got that color over there you know for the summer side i, I full bleached it didn't i to get yeah. it back to white card with this one i'm not i'm going straight in over that dark area because I, I just want it to look more um, like the weather would suggest, because you wouldn't have it bright, bright white in that kind, those kind of conditions. So that's the lighter color down there. Then we're going with this next tone. And you see, so we're just sculpting that area, aren't we? Mm-hmm. I think you've been very clever with these tree stamps because you can really see where your shading needs yes. to be. Yes, and that's the difference, you know, the old stamps aren't equal, guys. You know, I, back in the day, years ago, when I was in school even, my preferred 
arty style was lime and wash, which is basically what I'm doing now, only not the wash. The wash is once you've stamped it and then you do it. Bef what lime and wash is, it's a, um, a water um, proof line of ink, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then you, the wash is where the, you mean that you go over with watercolour and you put the colour in. So it's technically exactly what, what I'm doing now um, all these years later, the only difference is I'm leaving the wash bit for you. You're doing that when you get the stamp. So what you've got to be careful to do is um, when you, um, when I'm drawing for stamps, I have to remember to not get carried away with too much detail because you have to have enough room to add some, you know, of the line work in it. So we're almost there, Debbie. We'll put, make this, I want to make this much darker. So by putting a bit of this green in, it's darkening it a little bit. And we'll also put a little bit of grey maybe in that as well. You've got some lovely sentiments that go with these as yes, well. Yes, aren't they lovely? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so what I'm going to do is let's pop a little bit of that colour on the underneath here. So... I'd go out on a limb for you. Yeah. How lovely is that one? So we've got some autumn leaves underneath that. We'll put the white back on the sheep because they're a bit green at the minute. Nature's song is music for our soul. Love these. Do you think of these sentiments? No, I've got to say that's mostly either Debbie or Maria comes up with the sentiments. That's I amazing. am definitely the pictures woman. Yeah, I, like I was saying earlier, even when I'm sending stuff in to um, the guys in the office, it'll be tree one, tree two. <laughs> tree three, house one, house two. And they're like, what do you want to call the machine? I'll think, anything you think would sound good. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the one for the poetic names. And sometimes I'm, in, you know, I come up with a with a, a, a you know really good one, but more often than not, yeah, it's not my not my forte. I'm just going to put a little bit more rain in the sky. I'm going to go in with some uh, black. I'm going for it, Debbie. That is absolutely, it's just stunning, absolutely stunning. I think what I love about it more than anything else is showing that use of one stamp, but stamp twice, and doing the most incredible scenery um, using just one stamp. Yes, exactly, this is it, this is have fun with them. Absolutely have fun, and you know what, give it a try. These things only come about because you think, I wonder, and then you give it a try. And if you don't give it a try, you're not going to know. That's amazing. So there we've got now from summer to autumn. And we'll stick that on the, on the card that's prepared. And that's another one ready. Um, if I can find it. Yeah, I'll pop this together, Debbie. That's going to sit on there. a beautiful like that. technique. Really love that one. Um, everyone is loving that. Uh, Joy is saying loving that. Uh, loving the white accent. Lindsay is saying stunning. I love this, Sheena. Um, uh, Mary Pat is saying wow. I didn't know that you could do that with a gel pen either. Uh, Lillian is saying she's uh, besotted. Um, uh, no, she's not. That's my eyesight. I think she's saying brocco trees. Now I've zoned in a bit more to it. I haven't got my glasses on. Uh, Colleen saying, I can just watch you all day, Sheena. Um, what an <laughs> artist you are. Beautiful. Um, Kathy is saying, I love the way Sheena just mixes the colours all over um, the mat. If I tried that, I would look like I threw up. <laughs> <I'll do that. laughs> um, and Sherry is saying, Sheena always details her stamps beautifully. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the, um, yeah, you, the way you do detail them Sheena is uh, amazing uh, that is absolutely stunning what a beautiful project uh, and also seeing that from start to finish I don't know about anybody else uh, but watching you create something like this uh, and see those two different techniques with uh, two different weathers two different lights and shades everything about that is so beautiful 
thank you Debbie well I'm really I did enjoy doing that I was just about to try and stamp this and it doesn't matter if I don't get it straight because we'll just not um we'll not talk about it if I don't but we'll give it a go okay let's let's go for it absolutely yeah I think and, and uh also because it's photopolymer there's a good chance that it's just going to stamp first time beautifully which will be amazing I do love having white space around a card so I think having the card like you've got uh, is going to look beautiful with this stamp at the side yeah, yes, it's going yeah. to stamp, little, stamp amazingly little well. stamp first of all now, so to try and get this straight, I'm just going to pop that there and try and work out, I think I'm going for it there. Oh, That'll look do. at that. And Perfect. then we'll stick that down there and then that's two full cards. Wow. I look mean, there. literally start to finish yeah. and uh, what a project. That one is absolutely beautiful. Oh. Absolutely love that one. Thank you. My tape runner just oh, run out. Run out of just the tape. nearly got that done, almost <laughs> there. And then I'll have a tidy up if I can. Absolutely. So, oh, upside down. Did you see that? Did you see the that? Oh, yeah, but, and again, but down. how cool am I that you wouldn't know that because I didn't make any noise that would have given that away, would it? Like, oh, seriously? I just never will be cool, will I? <laughs> You're always cool in our books, Gina. You're amazingly cool. <laughs> Yeah, you are the coolest person I've ever met as well. And Nicola <laughs> said the same, absolutely. Oh, that is absolutely go. stunning. What a beautiful card. Um, I'm predicting that might even be a demo of the week. You might get your first star with that one, I haven't Gina. got anything on the board yet, you know. I've just oh, got your name up there. Got and your name there. there without a well, star. I've only got one star. You could join me maybe with one star this week. I reckon you might be in with a chance well, with your demos. You. They're could, absolutely incredible. Uh, I'm just going to show you a few of the samples because uh, Sheena has the most amazing design team. Do go over to um, the uh, Sheena's Inkets on Facebook because uh, uh, they're there always on hand to do um, to answer your questions, to uh, show you inspiration. Um, these stamps are so beautiful, so pretty, all done by Sheena's design team. Um, and I just think the inspiration inspiration that's there is incredible and uh, what about heat embossing and then doing a stencil in the background I think that is just beautiful I love this card I just think that is exceptional absolutely gorgeous uh, same one but look at that so that's what Sheena was just doing showing those two different ones uh, one at night time one in the daytime so so pretty um, doing an autumnal one doing it all orange I love the way that you just put a different green a different orange a different hue on there uh, and it looks totally different such beautiful makes um, and they keep I've just got so many samples it's hard to show uh, which one because they are all so stunning I mean even that one look at that two completely different cars they look absolutely stunning uh, i love that one sheila that's almost like a, a sort of stippled effect that one a it's little lovely, bit different it? yeah, yeah it looks totally different dot, dot. Uh, so you could so do beautiful. that with your brush pen just dot, 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 with the brush bit is that all it is yeah you could wow. do that yep that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Um, right, so if you want to grab those today, please go for that showstopper. The showstopper will come with two packs of watercolour cardstock. You'll also get that ink pan and your three sets of stamp, which are brand new today, for £30 or $40. You're saving already, even though it's brand new, you're saving £13.94 in the UK or $16.82 if you're in the US, which is incredible. Now, some other incredible deals we have for you today is our Christmas. Christmas ones. Now these are our Christmas frames. Uh, they're absolutely stunning. I love these when they come out. I love the fact that you get that large word die with them. Uh, you can use them for lots of different things. Uh, that joy, you can cut out the little angel and then you've just got the word joy. Great for babies cards. Also you could use this as flat florals as well. So a uh, really versatile one. Uh, so you've got your joy. You've then got your piece. Another beautiful design with all those stars. And again, all those stars uh, could be for anything. They could be for a graduation, passing your driving test uh, any celebration stars are for you're then getting our other one which is our noel um, which has got the beautiful snowflakes all the way around the outside and then the last one in that collection is our gorgeous xmas which has got those holly leaves absolutely stunning platinum price 51 pounds 20 or 60 dollars so those are amazing uh, now if you did want to uh, try some florals with your trees today uh, these are our beautiful 
your floral flowers. We've got our Radiant Rose. Um, these are beautiful dyes. I absolutely love them because not only do you have a dye which if you then emboss uh, gives you all the veins, you also get the stamps with them to stamp over them as well if you want to. So two completely different looks that you can do with those. We've then got our, oh, let's pop that the right way around, our Fragrant Sweet Pea. Um, absolutely stunning. You can see how realistic that looks, which is absolutely gorgeous. Some of these have got a little bit squished. Um, we've got our Timeless Carnation. So another great dye. You're getting that in those two different sizes and with that leaf dye as well. Uh, we've then got our uh, Fuchsia, so our fabulous Fuchsia. Um, I absolutely love this one. I think the way this looks when it's uh, not so squished, it really comes together amazingly well and looks absolutely beautiful. Uh, we've then got our lovely Lilac. So that gorgeous Lilac one, which was, uh, is going to look lovely in any collection. And then we're going to do our uh, Delicate Lily, uh, which is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and then I think I just need to go back to the fuchsia. I had to do that for George. I, I thought he's going to think I'm ignoring him, but I was going to go back to it. <laughs> uh, they're amazing. If you want to grab those, they're on an amazing price today. You're saving £54.95 in the UK or $61.60, which is amazing. Platinum price, £28 or $32. Uh, we're going to give you a chance to check out your baskets. While you do that, have a look at this. Welcome to Crafters TV. With more than 35 hours of live shows each week, it's your home for all things craft. We shine the spotlight on new and innovative crafting products with live tutorials and demonstrations. Join our family of craft experts where fun happens every day. Are we in trouble? Or are we all right? <laughs> yeah. Should be should be should coming be in. in. Should be coming. <laughs> what does she do? Exactly. What does she do? <laughs> This is awesome. This is awesome. Get creative and craft along. With our amazing deals, your next craft project is just a click away. Tune in live seven days a week, or you can watch us on Catch Up at crafterscompanion.com, Facebook, or our YouTube channels. You can chat to us, craft along, and meet new friends by joining our online crafting community. And I want you every day and it's just what really gets you through when you're really at rock bottom there's a show for every type of crafter from first-time dabblers to full-time makers crafters tv create every day here at crafters tv it couldn't be easier to get your hands on the latest crafty must-haves leave the hard work to us while you shop from the comforts of your own living room Head to the Crafters Companion website to see our full crafty range or hit the Shop the Day button to see all the new and exciting products featuring on Crafters TV. Once you've filled your cart, leave it to us to get your crafty goodies to you in super quick time so you can get on with being creative. Crafters Companion, making crafty shopping a breeze. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV with you wherever you are. We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling and it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people so it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased and I do love it when people send us photographs of the items they've made. We talk about customers but really the going as a customer come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing, the messages I get are amazing. Me personally it is 
personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we're all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family Oh, welcome back everybody to Crafters TV. We're right in the midst of beautiful beginnings um, and it is a show where we take you back right to the start and show you some simple techniques that maybe uh, get into more advanced techniques which is uh, a really great show to be in. Uh, so remember if you're liking all of Sheena's techniques that she's been doing in the show this evening and today uh, which is our wake up call this morning and our launch day as well uh, make sure you go and um, uh, set them up so you can save them uh, and go back to them uh, so many people loving that demo Sheena we've got Rhonda in um, in fact Rhonda saying um, will there ever be a craft along well you never know I think with craft as companion you just never know it all depends on schedules for the craft along um, Janice is saying just beautiful Lynn is saying amazing Sheena Maureen is saying fabulous card Sheena Mary Beth is saying incredible Rennie is saying can I ask Sheena will you be having any winter or Christmas season Come in. Mm. Oh, bit exciting. Yes. Oh, very can we, exciting. Can we know anything? Very soon. Very soon. Very soon. I in mean, the are we talking weeks? In yeah. week? Oh, weeks. weeks. Oh, yes, I love exciting. that. The first oh. big collection, not the the smaller stamps. It's like it's oh, it might be all singing and dancing with dies and stamps no and way and, oh. Um, yeah, maybe. oh well so, i think you've just lit up the whole of the nation <laughs> that's exciting isn't it maybe a, a sheena collection who knows um that's very exciting so uh, yes so rennie yes you can ask and i think you've been given more information than we've had up till now so that's very exciting <laughs> uh, sherry is saying sheena is always a superstar in the capital letters and chris is saying sheena you are the star and is saying I tried to get everyone to vote Sheena's demos on Sunday but nobody listened oh <laughs> uh, well, well that's Sarah see she plays the violin strings oh, oh Sarah who, was, who, who just sent that one in what was the name of the lady that was Anne right Anne this is this demonstration's just for Anne all the rest <laughs> of you just don't be looking don't be messing up for you it's just for Anne <laughs> Not that I'm bitter. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Uh, yeah, let's do it on Sunday. I'm not in. I was thinking I was in this weekend. I'm not in this weekend either. But uh, I'll send a little note and we'll say we've got to get Sheena a star up on that board. But actually, um, I'm a big believer that stars should only go on there when something is spectacular. Um, your demos today are nothing but spectacular, oh. Sheena. So I think they definitely deserve a star. Uh, right, the, um, the, the uh, stamps themselves are the new tree stamps launched today. Um, the one I'm calling the stubby one, but it's far more than a stubby tree. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. Uh, that was the one that Sheena just done that demo with. Then we had the tree earlier that Sheena done um, her first demo with. And then the other one we've got in that collection is this beautiful... Is this a willow, this a one? A willow. Yes. yes absolutely. absolutely stunning, that one. Uh, if you go for that showstopper today, you are getting the watercolour cardstock. You're also getting your ink pad uh, and those three stamps. Um, so you've got a saving today, a first pounds 94 UK or $16.82 platinum price for that showstopper is incredible it's 24 pounds or 32 dollars right Sheena we've got literally about 20 minutes so, all right we um, can do this all right the willow <laughs> we're going to finish so that's 
all three trees represented again. Amazing. So we've got the willow on the rocker block and I'm going to stamp it using the rustic brown uh, waterproof dye ink pad, which you're going to get in your bundle. So that's all good. So I'm inking that up really well because I'm, again, just using the rocker block. It's quicker, speedier, and hopefully we should get a nice impression. Fingers crossed. And I'm going to stamp that about there. Thus, yep, that'll work. That'll that'll great, we can work perfect. with that. So, what I need to do now, I'm going to pop that to one side. We're going to use the um, aquas for this, Debbie. All yep. right. So, I think we need to draw the line. And I, I tell you what, I've taken it a bit further, Debbie, than just that mm. draw the line that we saw earlier. Um, this one is draw the line kind of um, next step. The new okay. batch, like Gremlins. Oh, okay. Right? So I've got something on me. I'm intrigued. I'm taking so what you're going to do is you're going to take your pokey tool and just go draw across like this, okay? So you're scoring into the card where you want to kind of create that um, uh, distant kind of, um, you know, um, horizon line. And what I'm doing is I'm drawing just little tall, like little scratchy, um, event like kind of um things that look like kind of they could be branches on a tree so tall one and then you could bring one out and have it more like a a, a tree shaped tree if i could okay. draw it for you it would be easy to see but you're not going to see it very well but you will when we put the the line on there well okay? i'm intrigued because i don't know what's happening right now right so what we're going to do is we're going to make this we're not going to use black we're going to use charcoal so it's not quite as dark now what i want to get ready as well is i want to get ready some blue because i want to do the sky at the same time i think i'm going to use the navy um from this one here from the um primaries and i think that might be about good to go there so we're gonna get your flat brush ready and get that with water on it we're going to take the tops off the brush end of our pens i'm going to take the charcoal and i'm just going to draw along that line that i've just created and even through the tree just like that because we're going to continue coloring that in and i'm going to take a little bit of this blue and go a little bit now I've picked up charcoal again. Hello, where's the blue? The blue there. Little bit bl blue underneath this. And a little bit under there. Um, right, that should do there. And we're going to use the blue again in a minute. So, yes, you know what it is? I've got the different, I've got the wrong tops on the wrong things. Again, that's what confused me. Now, when you do this, Debbie, that ink now wicks up wow. along those little um things that you've um drawn in there it like wicks oh, into course, the um yeah. into the branches of the tree that you've created and it makes it look like you've got some really pretty distant wintry trees that's and amazing we'll that would be so cool for halloween oh wouldn't it It'd be fabulous for halloween yeah and then you can do the the lake again oh the bottom. Sheena, that's beautiful you've got the really pretty frosty look we're going to scribble some blue and we're going to put this in the sky now just across like this so the big brush nice broad sweeps of the um of your brush just to get that color down and then lighter towards the horizon line so less and we don't want to go down to where we created those trees because we want to keep that nice and um you know atmospheric in the in the distance so cool and while it's still wet you can actually um lift the color out while it's wet as well so we might be able to put um some clouds in here so let's hold them there can you see if you use your water to put the clouds in now and then what you're going to do is you're going to dry the brush and then lift the lift the color out can you see so yeah, we're wetting amazing. the brush, drying it, and then using the brush to lift colour out when it's wet. So you can do this, you can let it dry and lift it out, or you can do it while it's wet and lift it like that as well. So we've got one cloud there. We'll pop another cloud maybe coming across here. And the same deal, just wet the background, get the ink moving, and then dry your brush and keep going and it lifts the lifts the colour out of that there we maybe put that one across there like that so this is a bigger one coming across there like this and then you've got like that nice kind of layered cloud look going on in the background so this down here 
we need to come back in with that large brush where I put the flash brush there and just give this leak a little bit of colour like that there so and we can put a highlight in that as well Debbie and then we're going to colour this foreground so I think I'll use I like leaf green let's use leaf green we'll um, scribble some of that In fact, let's not, let's just do this. Let's pop this like this and this like that. And then you can create like kind of a pathway with this on this time. And, and really, this is just a, this is nothing. Um, it's not like you're trying to stylize anything. It's just a case of just going with what you, what you, what what you, you want like. to do. Yeah, yeah, this is the thing. You can, you can change it up. Every time you play, just just create your own, you know, variations on the on the theme. So now we've got that there, and this could be a road, or it could be a river, it could be whatever you want to make it. And um, if we make it a road, we could use maybe that charcoal that we took out and pop that down on there, and maybe make it a little bit warmer. We'll see how the charcoal looks. So I'm just using the flat brush again, just to pop that in there. Sherry saying it looks like Florida. Oh, cool. That is so nice. And then you've got that nice you know, perspective and distance happening. And then if you want to lift a little bit, colour out again. If you just keep wetting your brush, dry it and then lift up, you'll get can you see how it's lifting some of the colour Amazing. there? It looks now like a proper concrete path that's yes. going to yeah. the tree. Yeah. That's beautiful. And then we've got the tree to decorate. So we can go over the um, branches and make them look a little bit more solid with the, um, a brown. Let's go with sepia. Let's use sepia. Um, so you could go over with the brush nib, but I wouldn't because it, you're going to... Um, just watered down version of that will just make it look a little bit more solid without it being it'll be too strong if we go in straight with that it's probably sepia mixed with a little bit of um, the um, charcoal would, would probably work just yeah. as well with that your puppy's um, called Willow isn't she? Did yeah. she where did she get her name from Willow um, Maria named her so she was six months old when um, when when I adopted her um so yeah she already had the the name willow and right she's, oh she's so gorgeous debbie you'll have to meet her one day Aww. she's just lovely she's such a good girl she really is she's, that's nice. she's really good and she you know she makes us laugh every day she's got i swear if she was a person i'd want to be her best mate because <laughs> she's got a great sense of humor oh absolutely thinks if we're laughing she'd be anywhere in the house but if we're laughing she wants to come through and say, what are you laughing, what are we laughing at? And she's, I swear, <laughs> she's got a bigger smile on her face. She just, she just likes, you know, happy and, and um, you know, nice kind of, you know, a, a bit of laughter and, and happy times. And she's, she's a happy girl. So we've got that there. So now we can put a little bit of colour in the, um, in the tree, in the willow. So we could pop a little bit of lime in there if we wanted. And a little bit of that green. So I'm just going to pop a little bit using downward strokes because that's where can you see that this is the way that it's oh, growing look at that with the little so use your round brush the tip of the brush and just drown downward little um kind of um, brush strokes so you're following the way i've drawn the the leaves that would be hanging like this and then we'll put some darker color in there as well that looks incredible it's effective isn't it Very and considering effective. We've, you know, you can do this. You can do this. If, if we've got everything that we've got on the show is there for you to have a go, you know, and just, just follow. And, you know, you can watch these back, can't you? So it just, again, even though it's not a craft along, along you just pause it and stop and catch up and then, yeah. you know, continue again. 
Absolutely. And actually, yes, someone asked about Sheena doing a craft along, but actually you could craft along with Sheena if you save the show uh, because you could pause it and then start again or, um, you know, go forward, go backwards. So actually you could use Sheena's demos because you have done your, or every, this is your third one and you've done every one from scratch. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. Exactly. So there's nothing you've missed. Mm -hmm. You haven't missed any part of the yep. process because it isn't a craft along. So we've literally gone, as Debbie said, in real time with everything here. So, um, you know, you, you wouldn't really benefit from, from the craft along necessarily, um, other than the benefit to you doing it like this is you do it in your time and your, at your speed, don't you? Because yeah, it's, absolutely. you know, when you teach workshops, there's always people who are speedier and some people who are slower. So it's always the challenge is getting that middle, middle ground. You know, you have to say to some people, right, we need some of you to speed up and some of you to slow down. So we've yes. got like, you know, we're all working together Absolutely. at the same pace. But when you're doing it yourself, you don't have to worry about that. So this is where now I can use the, um, this little bullet nib to add some grass where I want it along the side of this path. And just, again, flick up with little flicky kind of movements. And if you just pop some little bits here and there, a bit further back, it looks like gives the impression of grass further back, yeah, as yeah. well. Amazing. So just along the verges as if there's, you know, grass moving like that. And you could probably put some little bumpy bits in the, um, the pathway as well with the um, charcoal. Yeah, the charcoal's a problem because I put the wrong lid on the wrong thing, just saying. Yep, that's definitely the blue, but the, this one, yep. All right, that's that puzzle solved. I found the charcoal. <laughs> Ah, and I found lost the <laughs> lid for the, the, the lid for the charcoal. Uh, there Chris it is. Actually, Yay. actually asked in about your pens, yeah. uh, Sheena. Are you using the aqua pens from one set, or are they across different I've sets? I've used them across the sets, Debbie. Across the That's sets. different. Yeah, yes. but they Just are on offer, so uh, thirty percent off, I believe, off Spectrum Noir. So uh, head on to the website and uh, find that offer code to get your thirty percent off. Uh, makes them much more affordable. So uh, and choose the colours uh, that you think you're going to use the most. I would say. Absolutely. The, the thing is, is, you know, if you get one set, you're going to want more. Yes. So if you can stretch to it, um, absolutely don't miss that op opportunity, that offer, because they are a fabulous thing to, I mean, they really are. If I just had to choose one thing to play with for my shows going forward, any, other, any future shows, and it was right, like you can only choose one now, these would be the ones, because I would be able to do more with these than anything else and um, you know they're just so versatile I can blend with them like an ink pad I can stamp with them like an ink pad I can color in with them I can you know I can do the draw the line technique with them there's just there's nothing I can't I can't do with them so do you have a set that you'll your go-to set though at all Sheena what um, would you recommend what I would for recommend beginners? if you can I would if you could go to two sets I would say go for the um, essentials Mm -hmm. and the primary oh okay there you go because Chris, those that two will see you through um you know all your kind of all the situation all, all different because you've got all your primary colors so technically you can mix anything with your primary colors um and you've got the muted um essential set with your black and things which you're going to want for your draw the line technique and things as well yes so Definitely. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of a highlight on this tree, Debbie, with the white gel pen. Oh, look at that. Yeah, just a little bit here. That's and there. like just, magic happening in yeah, front of our faces. Yeah, it makes it glisten a bit, doesn't it? Just does that look a little bit... So amazing. Yeah. Just gives it that highlight, so where it's blowing in the breeze, a light yeah. shining on it. It's beautiful. Yeah. I feel really honoured today that I've been in this last show just to watch all these creations coming oh, together. thank you. Honestly, these, I think, some of the best you've ever done. You know what? I'm having the best, I'm having the best time um, crafty work-wise than I've ever had. Oh, and I just said so that. Good. I am so pleased I'm back here doing this with you guys. Yes. I am absolutely few that I did this. Oh, we um, are thrilled to Thank you for having me back as well, because I'm just loving it. Yeah, I'm having such a good time. Yeah, it's so good. Yeah, we've got a good team here, haven't we? Yeah, it's been lovely, yeah. So um, I'm, I'm definitely pleased I, I said yes, and we did this, so for sure. Thank you, guys. Lovely. Right, so there you go. Another one there. 
That's absolutely amazing. If you could grab your other two, Sheena, we're sure. going to get a vote started. Uh, it is going to be a really tough one because every single one of those three today are just incredible. Um, so we're going to get uh, a vote of the show going and then we've got a vote of the day. Uh, so that's going to be amazing as well. Um, Anne is saying, I tried to get everyone to vote for Sheena's demo on Sunday. Oh, nobody listened. I've done that one. Uh, <laughs> Wendy is saying, looking forward to the win winter scene stamps. Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, it will be uh, the lovely Grace counting on Sunday. So we'll have to tell her to make a plan to vote for Sheena. Absolutely. Uh, yes. Rosalind saying, I love Sheena's scenic stamps. I still have the Builder scene stamps and the Mockingbird Hill. Um, oh, yeah, they cool. were beautiful stamps. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, Joy is saying, oh, another beauty. And uh, Phil is saying, I uh, definitely see Evergra Everglades um, effect in there. Um, I'm sitting here shaking my head, mesmerized, says Roseanne. <laughs> um, uh, Brenda is saying, very pretty, Sheena. Janice, that tree looks like uh, the savannah. Um, with the moss hanging down, the sand is mm. my absolute favourite tree. Uh, they are so graceful and I love to see them shimmer in the wind. Yes, and that white mm. highlight makes it look yeah. just like that. Uh, and Rose Roseanne saying, thank you, Sheena, for sharing your talent with us. So, uh, yeah, oh, absolutely my pleasure. incredible. Uh, if you do want to get any of those stamps today, you can buy the stamps individually, but the best way to shop them is for that showstopper. The showstopper has the big saving. You're saving £13.94 in the UK and $16.82 in the US. You are getting the watercolour cardstock, you're also getting the three sets of stamps and you're also getting that uh, stamp ink pad as well which is your water resistant uh, and you're going to be able to do uh, items like this. Now bearing in mind, did you say you've done three demos each show? Yeah. That's nine demos that you can go back and watch, some similar but it will give you a really good idea of how you do these sorts of cards and how you can colour these up. I love the background in that one, Sheena. Well, we did that one in the previous show. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. And I had nothing to go on on that one. It was a brilliant card, Julie's. So I That's had to do a amazing. bit of detective work to work out how we could get it's that It's absolutely look. amazing. I mean, just the reflection mm. here. Oh, I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. It? gorgeous. Uh, there are just so many different things that you could be doing with these. Um, lovely different colouring techniques. Uh, and obviously, if you are um, someone that loves your alcohol colouring, Sheena, I take oh, it you can colour with your alcohol Whatever pens. Whatever you want to colour in with, they're going to work great with them. Yeah, I absolutely. love this one. Do you just use your stencils in the background? Yes, um, absolutely. Heat yeah. embossing? Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. There we go. Oh, have we not started the vote? No. Oh, I'm <laughs> waiting for the vote to come in and we've not started it. I do apologise. Sorry, Susie. Uh, right, let's give them a number. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> right, so this was one. Yeah, I've put it on it. Just a background number so you can one. see it there. That was Amazing. number one. And then number two was this one here. Mm, that one's and amazing. Then number three is. Oh, wasn't that one? That one. I was finished. Card of Debbie's there. I thought, well, I would have. Oh, look yeah, at that. that. That's, that's gorgeous there. as well. That's so nice. Yeah, I have to say, two is my vote. I yeah. think that is just incredible. But then you put that on. That literally looks like I want to go diving into that lake. Just, <laughs> just incredible. Absolutely amazing. Uh, right, one, two, or three. The choice is yours, not ours. So uh, get your votes in for those. Uh, right, I do have some of our duet ink pads to show you as well. Uh, these would be fabulous to paint with as well. Oh, wouldn't they, Sheen, or oh, doing your backgrounds with yeah, them? Yeah, brilliant. I've, you know what? It, it's always tough because we could, there's just any of the products, you could just pick them up and do yeah, great shows with any them. of them. They're all winner winner chicken dinners. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So you've got your soft heather in that one. Oh, uh, we've then got our raspberry ripple. We've also got our rosy apple. There's also our midnight mist. We've got our sweet clementine. Our sunrise glow. We'll <laughs> sing it now. <laughs> uh, we've got our sailor's wake. Oh, push that one down. We've got our awakening forest. Our spring buds. 
and our waterfall. So you're getting all of those colours. These are the best price they've ever been at, which is amazing. So if you haven't tried our duet ink pads, they work really well with blending. If you blend them onto some gesso, onto a background, and then they just go on really well. But you can also watercolour with them. You can heat emboss with them. You can do so much with them. Uh, absolutely incredible. Best price ever. Uh, platinum price, £36 or $52. And I just want to show you this because this is our sort of technique book, uh, which shows you all different ways that you can be uh, using them uh, through sort of blending to faux bleaching, uh, to doing your salt effect backgrounds, to doing your faux bleaching. Love this one, just speckling down, uh, doing salt techniques and marbling and lots of different ways that you can be doing them. Uh, I absolutely love this book, just showing so many variations of what you can do with these. Love this one, doing it on with uh, your bubble wrap as well, salt, cling film, stencils, whatever you want to do them with look at that for stencils through they're just amazing then with some faux, uh, faux bleaching uh, go doing different colors over the top uh, there's just so many that you can be doing stamping with them drawing the color out uh, lots of really cool techniques which are amazing uh, I love the fact you can blend them onto different cardstocks as well so think of your multi-purpose cardstock as well as your water cardstock as well as your um, smooth cardstocks anything you want to do your resist technique going over the top so lots and lots of different techniques that you can be doing with those uh, which are such a good price today uh, yes demo of the show goes to number two which Yay, is amazing two. right Coming so up, we've got two. Sheena which is our number, number two. two there let Yay. me bring these ones in um, which one was which let's have a look this one was launch day this one so let's go number one so number one was this one here which is incredible Oh, oh, these are the, both the willows. Look at this. Yes. So yes. you've got number one here, number two, and number three is Sheena's mm. one, which she's got over there. So I'm sticking to number three too. Are you sticking to number three? I love yeah. that so much. Um, mm. Yeah, that, just seeing that come together. Although these two cards are winners as well. They are absolutely beautiful. But the choice is yours. So one, two, or number three, which Sheena's one with that, tr uh, that um, different uh, variations there, which is amazing. So get your votes into that wow look at the time of the show uh, sheena will you be back with us next wednesday i'm not next wednesday no but i'm the wednesday after and we've got something brand new i believe Ooh. We may have, yeah. We're not telling. We're not telling, but there's something very exciting coming mm. in a couple of weeks. Uh, Sheena, thank you for today. Thank You've you. been an inspiration as Cheers, always. Debbie. Everyone is loving everything you do. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere just yet. We're waiting <laughs> for that demo to come in, obviously. Um, uh, as soon as if it comes in, then it will. It was a landslide, apparently, number two in that one. So we're just waiting uh, on that next one. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with the lovely Debbie. You've got a double D day again today, uh, tomorrow. Um, and Debbie's got lots to show us including some little over the edge uh, characters tomorrow uh, which is going to be very exciting so it's going to be a fun packed day uh, with two debbies tomorrow which is exciting uh, so make sure you get all your uh, questions in send us some photos in we'd love to hear from you tomorrow um, and that's for all our shows on crafters tv um, right we're still oh well, there we go number three yay oh, yeah. i definitely think that is gonna yeah i think that might might win it this week yeah, she'll be very exciting to get your star yeah. absolutely cool. amazing um right i can't thank you enough for joining us today um lily and sheena have been here all day i've just stepped in at last minute in the last show um but i hope you've enjoyed everything you've uh, seen today uh, thank you susie on the socials who's been sending in all your comments sorry if i've not read out all your comments uh, it's really hard to keep track of them sometimes but we try and get as many as possible um but that's the end of our beautiful beginnings uh, go and enjoy the rest of your day and we will see you back here at 11 a.m in the morning goodbye for now